Hi, I'm Kendra from Catholic All Year, and today, for the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we're going to talk about sacramentals. I'm here at St. Therese Carmelite Parish, which happens to be our family's parish, to talk about the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Tradition tells us that in the 13th century, Our Lady appeared to St. Simon Stock and gave him the brown scapular. A scapular is a sacramental, which covers things that we can see, like crucifixes, rosaries, holy water, holy oil, um, ashes, and also things like blessings and the sign of the cross. The use of sacramentals better prepares us to receive the graces available to us through the sacraments. What sacramentals are not are magic talismans that will protect us from the possibility of physical harm or force God to do our will. It's a physical, touchable, doable thing that reminds us that through the grace of the sacraments, we can bend our will to God's. So the brown scapular isn't magic, but it is a really good reminder. Before you put on a brown scapular for the first time, you should be invested by a priest. Any priest can do it, but a Carmelite priest would be especially happy to do it for Who you. Who has deigned to join you to the confraternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. Amen. Welcome to the family. Once you're invested, you can replace the scapula yourself as needed. But that begs the question of what to do with the old one. Canon law tells us that once an object is blessed, as is often the case with crucifixes, rosaries, and scapulars, they must be given, sold, or donated carefully, or returned to God, either by being buried or burned, and then the ashes buried. We keep a drawer of broken, blessed items, and every so often, the kids will get to burn and or bury them, which is a very popular chore. for watching this episode of the Catholic All Year Liturgical Living Show. And thanks to our sponsor, Ignatius Press, because uh, burning of things and the brown scapular are of special interest to my middle kids, I wanted to share with you some books that are some of their favorites. This is The Adventures of Lupio that talks about a boy who meets St. Francis and his wolf. And Who is Jesus is kind of like the annotations in an annotated Bible, answering all of those crazy questions that kids think their moms know the answers to, like how much a denarius is worth and how fishing worked in Bible times. I do not know the answers to all of those questions, but this book does, so I like it. <laughs> <laughs>